Hello everybody, this is Ranjini Chari once again, very happy to be with you. I have been traveling in the US from New York City to Colorado. Besides spending my time with my children and my relatives, I had the pleasure of conducting some workshops also, some giving certain lecture demos based on ancient Indian techniques. So naturally, science, mathematics and yoga, everything is included in this. Today, I'm very happy to introduce a great person whose sutra had been used in Indian mathematics long back. He is Pingala Charya. Pingala Charya belongs around 250 BC and he gave a sutra called Pingala Chanda Sutra. Sutra minutes means formula that denotes the formula. Now, Chanda is the meter used in chanting. What is the meter normally we use? We use them for measuring the length or the height. But here this meter is entirely different. It is the chanting done by in the Vedas or in the Sanskrit shlokas. We use this sutra. Now how do we use it this way? While chanting, suppose it is Bhagavad Gita, one of the shlokas Nainam chindanti shastrani, nainam dahati pavaka, or shariram yadavak nodi, yet chop your kramati shwaraha, grihit vaitani sanyati, va yurgandhani vashayat. This is one way of chanting. Gita. There is one more way of chanting. It's a different meter. That's called va samsi jirani yatha vihaya, navani grishnati naroparani. So, the meter sets the tune of the Vedas, tune of what you are chanting. Epics can also be chanted this way. The going up and coming down, Uttar Chadhao, that's what we call, we go, it goes up and then comes down. The voice is also compressed, voice is expanded with different frequencies. That is called the meter, that is called the Chanda. What is the use of this Chanda? Is it only for chanting? Yeah, it's used. Suppose it is Chamaka, Rudra, it is used this way. Eka Chame, Dasha Chame, Deshane, Vimshatish Chame, like this it is used. But this is not only the only use of the Chandas. I am going to show you a very good useful way of expanding a number, finding out the power of any given number. The power could be anything, or the base could be any number. So, three. The power here will be called 4, the index, and the base would be called 3. The Pingala Chanda Sutra says, find out the binary representation of your power. So this goes this way. We find the binary. There is no remainder, so we put a 0. Once again, I divide it by a 2. I get 1 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder. Now, how do I write it back for my calculation of 3 to the power of 4? I'm going to put it this way. This The quotient will be cut off by me. And I'll only write it as 0 and 0. What is the 0 represents? The puja. The puja represents the square of the given base. So, the first calculation will be done by the square of the given base, which is equal to 9. 3 square is 9. Now what is the second zero represents? The square of the obtained number. That comes to 9 square which is equal to 81. So 3 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 81. Why did I show you such a simple example? Because this could be easily calculated by you even without using the sutra. But this is the basic principles of the sutra. If you know this much you can use it for any power, any number. Suppose my number would be this way. It is 4 to the power of 6. In that case, the binary of 6 would come to 0 remainder, 2, 1. Now, how would I write the number? The quotient will be left out by me. I will only take 1 and a 0. What is this one, one acum represents? 
square of the base multiplied by the base itself. So this gives me 16 times 4 which is 64. Now what is the representation of the 0? The square of the obtained number which is 64 square. So once I know 64 square then I know 3 to the power, 4 to the power of 6 is what number? Now how do I calculate 64 square? We can do it in a two different way. One is by the Vedic mathematics of squaring numbers or actually multiplying. I'll take up another example for you. Suppose I need to go. Continuing with this last example, we are going to go ahead with another number now, like 15 raised to the power of 4, 15 raised to the power of 6, any number you can take up and then start doing this. So I'm going to show you what would be the binary representation of number 4, which we saw earlier. You keep going. Mm. By leaving the quotient here, I'm going to take the remainders 0 and 0. You know by the last example that 0 means the square of the given base. That will come to 15 square. Stop and then which is the Let us take the example of 15 raised to the power of 4. Now 4 is the index. Naturally, the binary representation of 4 would be taken this way. So I find it 1, 0, 0. But I'll cut the first quotient. I'll keep this equal to 0, comma 0. 0 represents in the Pingala Charya Sutra as square of the base. That is 15 squared. Now 15 squared can be easily calculated. That comes to 225. Now the next 0 here, this represents the square of this number. So what is the square of 22, 225 square? It comes to be 22 multiplied by 23 by a sutra called Ekadikena and the rest would be 25 because 5 square. So this number comes to be 506. So 506, 25, that is 50,625 is the power, the fourth power of 15 that gives the answer also we can take 75 times 75 times 75 that is 75 raised to the power of 3 you know the binary representation of 3 would be equal to one remainder so i'll be leaving the first quotient and i'll be taking this one alone what does one represent we all know it that is equal to the square of the base multiplied by the number itself. So what is 75 square? By once again the Vedic Sutra, the formula, this comes to be equal to, 75 square comes to be equal to 5, 56, 7 multiplied by 8 and then a 25. That gives me 56, 25. That should be multiplied by a 75. So this is how the end, this number comes to be 421875. That is 421875. Like this numeral are played very easily here as index. The index numeral is first represented in the form of binary. By the way, is binary a modern discovery this has come much before 2 or 3 bc 300 bc so what i'm finding oh is modern mathematics encompasses is encompassing all those things earlier known in india i don't think so it is now coming into light that all these mathematics were originally there a few are only used few are only revealed thank you in finding out the 225 square, we can use the uh, vertically crosswise sutra of Vedic mathematics. 22 will be multiplied by a 23. Any number ending with a 5, the 5 can be separated for 
square that will be taken as a 25 always and the previous number one more than the previous one is 23 multiplied by 22 with vertically crosswise Urdhva Sutra first top two numbers are multiplied and written and in between the cross numbers are multiplied and added whenever you do a cross multiplication you need to add so two threes are six two twos are four six and four gives me a ten I carry one here and the last is two twos are four and one five that's how I got this 506 and five squared is always this way so the total of five, 15 raised to the power of four comes to 50,625.